Hi guys, I'm Ossie Villa and welcome to episode 7 of the World Tour at Sport Boys in Peru. And today we have two big games against Alianza Lima and Union Comercial as the opening stage of the Peruvian First Division rapidly winds down. That really does go past quickly, doesn't it, when it's sort of an opening and closing stage. Um, but we'll get to that in a second. And since last episode, let's have a quick look at what's happened where last episode wasn't great. And to be honest... It was getting it's getting a little bit frustrating because you can see we, we we had gone and lost four games in a row all by just a single goal. Um, so the first game after last episode was Minucci. Um, we lost this game again. We lost three two. We scored uh, we scored some good goals, but again defending just let us down. Uh, Andreas uh, Bliacardo got an absolute belter. Uh, Jose de la Cruz uh, he got one in the back of the net as well. But you can see from the I mean, match ratings and match stats we were pro just. I think, shaded in this game. Um, but I think a draw probably would have been fair, given that we were the away team as well. Um, then we went and we played Universidad Tecnica de Camajajac, that, that team. Uh, and again, we lost 3-2. Uh, and this one, it was defensive errors that cost us, which was really disappointing. Emerson, free-scoring centre-back Emerson with another one. Goyven got, a, uh, got his goal as well uh, to make it 3-2 at the time. And we just couldn't quite get back on level terms. Uh, again, an even game that we lost by an odd goal, and it was really... It was At this point, I'm getting annoyed, because I'm sick of losing games by a single goal. So what we did is we changed the formation. Um, we went and played uh, uh, Universidad de Deportes, and we finally got a win. And we actually, you can see here, look, looked quite good with the formation change. Now, I don't know um, if it's just... The way that teams were starting to play us, we needed, you know, we needed to change things up a, up a bit. But what we did basically is we went for a diamond midfield. Actually, we went for a no, it says it's a back four, but we didn't. We pushed him a square of forward. But we went for a diamond midfield, two strikers up top, wing backs getting forward, and like I say, we looked really, really good. De La Cruz got a double, um, starting as a striker. He linked up actually. Him and, and Rolando Castro looked quite the partnership, to be honest. Um, but again, you can see from the mat. Forget the match stats. That doesn't tell the story. The player match ratings they tell the story. We absolutely looked like a different team. Um, so we may have found a new formation going forward. Now we have a quick look at what that all means to the league table. Um, you can see here that we were down there. We were down there in a little bit of trouble, but we sort of pushed clear. It's the bottom two or three that get relegated, I think. Uh, I have figured out... Um, have we been, uh, who was it in the comments? I forget who was in the comments. Forgive me. Uh, I can't... I can't think of the, of the username of the top. Is it Ben Ross? No, not Ben Ross. Anyway... Thank you, whoever it is in the comments. I apologize. I'll try and check between games who it is and, and make sure I get your net, uh, give you your, your deserved shout out. But I went to the overall table of the Copper Movie Star here, and this has this has the combined points of the Torneo and the League. I'm assuming, uh, and then this is where relegation is decided. So we're eight points clear of relegation right now with a game in hand. Um, so that should that should be fine. That shouldn't be a problem. Um, yeah. So. I don't understand why it doesn't just say Peruvian First Division and this is just something different. I, that would make sense to me, but it's fine. It's Peru. It doesn't have to make sense to me. It has to make sense to Peruvians. Um, and yeah, so that is where we're sort of standing at the table. Now, since last episode, there was the World Cup as well, wasn't there? So let's have a quick look at that. Because when we left this, of course, it was... We only had one semi-final. So Italy has gone and won the World Cup in the US yet again over Brazil. No, Brazil won it last time. No, what am I talking about? It was the Baggio penalty. Never mind me. I don't know what I'm talking about. But let's have a quick look at the semi-final. Italy beat Ivory Coast 2-0 to ruin that fairy tale. Third place playoff. Ivory Coast won that over England. Um, so well done to Ivory Coast. And then as we see there, Italy... Um, Italy won the World Cup final. Golden Boots, Rashford's up there, Fabinho, a couple of familiar names. Leon Bailey with highest rating from for Jamaica. Um, anyway, so Italy are your world champions, everybody. Uh, now let's go and have a quick look at the... T One second, guys, sorry about this. I really need to put some silent. Hello. Chaz. Chaz Hogan, did you escape? Are you uh, free of Lord Yang? Yeah, mate. Yeah, I'm uh, out of the fire into the fry pan, though, mate, it would appear. Uh, you reckon you could nick down to immigration and get me out, please, mate? Uh, yeah, mate, just about to play Alianza Lima and Union Comercial. Uh, what I'll do is I'll come down after that, is that okay? Righto, yeah, thanks, mate, appreciate that. Yep, no worries, see you soon, Chaz. Alright, guys, sorry about that. Now let's have a look at the team that we're sending out to play Alianza Lima here, and we will see it is the new formation that we're going with. So it's a Costa in goal, it's Costio, it's uh, Zuba, uh, Zuba Biat. He's new. <laughs> it's Emerson and Fernandez as a right back. Andy hasn't quite been doing it. It was Mosquera in the anchorman role. Mongolan and Goyven in midfield. Karuga in behind Castro and Dela Cruz. 
And there will, of course, be a Goals of the Month at the end of this episode as well. Uh, and it's Ryan Moss. Ben Ross is a rugby league player from a, a probably retired now in Australia. So, Ryan, thank you so much um, for all that information you've been giving me. Uh, I think, as I said, I think we may have figured out sort of <laughs> how this league uh, is going to run for us. Uh, all right, so what do we want to say here? Um, it's just a derby, isn't it? Let's just pick up... I don't want to say pick up where we left off last time. Ignore the recent praise. No, we haven't really had that much praise either. All right, let's just... All the best, have fun. That hopefully will work for us. Um... And we'll get on out there. Now, the main reason why I went and changed formation, basically, was because the, we were playing with wingers before because Perez was on fire and because Vasco Fry was was playing well. Fry's injured. Perez has gone missing completely. We've got his uh, brother with one leg playing out there right now. So I figured there's no point. Like, we're not. why are we playing with wingers? Um, so we changed it. And like I say, we did look we did look okay. We looked quite good against, um, against the Deportes there. So hopefully we'll... Hopefully we stumbled across something now, and we'll go on a little bit of a run here. Um, I mean, the, the, this opening part of the, of the league season is kind of done now. <sighs> Defense still isn't great, clearly. Amazon gets that clear. Mosquera heads it. Now, can we get a bit of a counterattack going here, actually? He goes Karuga. He's got runners with him. Looks for Dela Cruz, but couldn't quite find him. Pressure it, boy. Pressure it. Um, yeah, so... We, it's just a sort of this this now between now and the end of this opening part of the this is the longest highlight ever and this always makes me nervous um right now our goal is just to get as many points as we can and try and steer clear oh it was an excellent block by i think it's fernandez but unfortunately the rebound was absolutely built into the top of the net from acuna um the long highlights they usually lead to goals don't they they're building to something Watch this block here. This that's amazing, and that's a little bit unlucky. And Acosta, you'll be happy to know this is Acosta's last game. Uh, our new keeper Saladas comes in. I think it's literally tomorrow game time. Um, so once we've got him in there, hopefully we'll have a goalkeeper that can you know save something that comes straight at him. Uh, which is ambitious, I know. It's a lot to ask of a goalkeeper to save something that's straight at him, but I remain hopeful that we will find a goalkeeper capable of doing that. Um, Acosta's one of these. Been a very strange goalkeeper. He he seems to be relatively good from crosses, except when he just completely... You know who he reminds me of? is David James back in the day, one for the kids. He'll be amazing, and then he'll just do something completely stupid and cost you a goal. And that, I feel like, is a costa. And I just want consistency. I don't care if you don't make a worldy save. I just want you to catch the ball when it's coming straight at you. Uh, all right, ball out there for Fernandez. Oh, I tell you what, this... They seem to have us relatively well covered here, don't they? It's a decent tackle, but oh, lucky off the post. Um, we don't seem to be able to find find any space here. That's okay. It's held them up a little bit, but too much space. They're just running at us at will, aren't they? Um, all right, what we're going to do here? We are going to. We're already playing a relatively high line, though, aren't we? I think we need to defend more narrowly because you can see there our winger was out and they were kind of running inside our, our fullback. So that's no good to us. Um, this is a really, really disappointing performance given what we did last game where we actually looked quite good getting forward. If we can, I think if we can even just stick it at 1-0 to half time and then try and regroup there. Emerson heads that clear. He's an absolute beast in the air, isn't he? Is that a foul? It is clearly not. Our striker is not marking his fullback and... Fernandez is there. Let's just put the ball clear, boys. Oh, Acosta with a worldie. He makes that save. I would have, wouldn't have cared if that went in. Oh, that's exactly... I mean, he's kind of even for the game now, isn't he? One one he should have saved, one that he kind of plucked out of thin air. But I remain... I just want I just want consistency for my goalkeeper. I don't need you making those worldies. But he did make it, so that's good. Uh, all right, we're going to be aggressive here. Show me something different. That was not a good performance. Um... We have stuck in the game, though, and this is, of course, a derby as well, so it's a big one for the fans. Let's see if we can even just get a shot on goal, really. I don't think we had a shot that first half, did we? We might need to look at changing something. Uh, I don't like that Mosquera is looking flustered. Um, let's, let's try exploit the flanks, because we haven't been doing that. We haven't 
All right, here we go. Karuga. We know Emerson's an absolute beast in the air. Oh, it's a penalty. It has to be a penalty. It is a penalty. And Cosio, I'm assuming, yes, is going to step up and take this. He hasn't missed yet, but like I say, I just always feel like this yeah, just brings you one closer to the one he does miss, doesn't it? Come on, Cosio. We need this one, mate. We need this. Cosio! Oh, he's a good penalty taker, Cosio. 1-1. One, one. The set piece again. Reign supreme. We're going to have to start playing for set pieces, aren't we? I mean, don't see any other way around this. We are just a set piece team. I've become Sam Allardyce and Tony Pulis overnight, apparently. That's a good penalty from Cosio, and we will take that and run. Um, all right, let's demand more of the boys. There we go. Let's focus them. We don't necessarily deserve to be level right now, but we are. Oh, actually, we've had as many shots on target just about as there. We've had more of the ball, so maybe I'm being harsh on us there. Um, all right, I think we do need to change things up here. Uh, which one of these guys is our target man? It's Hector Rojas. So let's bring him on for a nervous-looking Rolando Castro. Um, we're a little bit thin on midfield options right now because we have some few injuries, um, which doesn't help. Fernandez has been playing okay, but he's looking nervous. Let's bring Andy on. He's on a booking as well, so we'll get rid of the booking, get rid of the nervous player. Uh, let's try some encouragement. Encourage? Absolutely nothing. And now we need to defend from a set... Well, not a set piece, but a throw. Castro brings up... No, Cosio brings that down. He goes looking for Rojas. The only thing that worries me here about Rojas is he's not match fit, but he is a really, really good target man. Um, so that's something. If we're going to play for set pieces, that extra bit of height could prove uh, valuable for us. Oh, it's just beating him. And you've got to stay with him, dude. You've got to stay with him. Oh! It's fine. It's fine. Never look like going in. We will. Go, we're going to go a little bit more direct. We're doing everything I don't usually like doing here. We're going to hit. No, we're going to work the ball into the box. No, we're not going to give him any instruction. Um. 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 Everything else there's fine. I don't like getting stuck in. So I just feel like you give away free kicks and you miss tackles. So we won't do that. All right. Our centre back with the throw. It's what we like to see. Cosio from Rojas. He got back for Mosquera. Mosquera goes long. That's where Rojas should be. But Cosio is going to try and chase it down. Our left back is playing striker right now. Oh, even what the f is that? Can we get back? Oh, Cosio. Uh, not Cosio. Acosta with a massive save. Emerson hacks it clear. And Goyven, I think, I think we might uh, just give you a rest, mate, after that. Please and thank you. Um, this hasn't been our best game, has it? It really, really hasn't. Um... We are somewhat clinging to a point at this stage, I would imagine. Let's give it a... We'll, give it a sh we'll wait and see what happens in this highlight. I'm thinking maybe show some passion. Maybe a concentrate. We're going to have to get rid of this high line. Oh, again, Acosta. Acosta's made up for his mistake there, hasn't he? Um, wasn't it wasn't a great effort that first go the goalie let in, but that, he's made a couple of really, really, really good saves since then. All right, Mongolan out for Andia. Come on, mate. Let's see what you got. Can he get a point in the box? He cannot. And it's ricocheted out. And this is becoming a long highlight, which makes me nervous. Oh, they've gone long again. And Acosta can't say he can't do it himself every time. I've been a bit too slow reacting to the ball over the top there, haven't I? Um. Oh, damn. We haven't played well this game, so we can't really complain too much. But it's just... We're, we're all out of shape. Why do we only have one centre back there? Where's our, Where's Emerson? Where is Emerson? I'm going to have... I don't know. I don't know where Emerson's gone. I was working on... Um, David suggested doing disengaged defending to try and get them to hold their shape. We have been doing that a lot. Um, but as we can see, it hasn't particularly worked, has it? Um, oh, we, we are truly horrible. This is... We looked so good last game, too. And... For some reason, we've just gone back to our old just a shambles. We can't pass to each other. We can't hold for defensive shape. And we deserve to be beaten, to be honest. But let's see if we can... Can we nick this back? Come on. A bit of pressure on the ball. Can we win that? We should get the second ball. Emerson in for Martinez. Goes out for Andia. Andia flicks it on. But that's just poor. It's just poor. Come on, boys. This is becoming a long, old highlight now. And they go long again over the top. We've got men back. Acosta can't save us again. And that is 3-1. And we are horrible. This has been... 
as bad as we've played, this has been as bad as we've played. I'll be honest. We're at home. I don't. I don't. I'm. I'm annoyed. I'm really, really annoyed. We looked so good last game. How we can go? This is what I'm talking about with, with consistency. How we can? You saw the player ratings last game. How we can go from that to this in the matter of three days? I do not understand. Um, I'm tempted just to find them all if I'm honest. I'm expecting. Yeah, we're all we're training tomorrow. So there we go. If there was any thought that we weren't in a relegation battle this year, I think that's just been put to bed. Um, guys, wait right there. We'll be back. We'll have our new goalkeeper, and we'll have a new, a new. Uh, I don't know. We'll have something new ready for Union Commercial. All right, guys, welcome back. We are off. We're not off anywhere. We're hosting Union Commercial. Now they are, they're up there. They're a decent team this year within this uh, tournament. Anyway, we've beaten them twice when we played them in that uh, Tornio thing. So. We're down there, aren't we? We're down there. So, we do have a new signing. Uh, as I said, the goalkeeper was coming in. So, we'll have a look at him in uh, just a second here. Uh, there we go. So, it's Saul Salinas. We had a look at him when we first signed him. But a really, really good goalkeeper, I think. Uh, we are working on training in, on his passing. So, he's passing, obviously, in first touch. Because that combined with his vision, I think we're going to have a really, really good passing goalkeeper in our hands. If we can just get those two attributes up a little bit. Um but definitely an upgrade on what we have had in goal before. So that is a positive. Um, and that is not the only change in this formation, on this uh, lineup, actually, because we do have some tied players. Uh, my my dummy spit, <laughs> making them come into training the next day when we had a game in three days. Not the smartest thing to do, but that's why you don't lose your tempo, <laughs> boys and girls. So Salinas starts in goal. And now Cafaretta, we haven't seen him before. Um... Now that we can register the squad, we can register this guy. We, he has been with the club for a little while since we signed him on a free transfer. Um, decent all-round left-back, so I think he'll do a good job there for us. Uh, Zubazat uh, and Emerson continue in the centre of defence, so Emerson's a little tied with Andy at right-back. Mosquera continues as well. Martinez comes in to play with Mongolan in midfield. Now, Blasido is someone that we haven't, I don't think, seen before. Certainly not starting. Um, but he's always played well when he's come off the bench when we have started him. So, hopefully he'll put in a good performance here for us. We're going to go with Ramos up top um, because, well, what's his name? Castro is tied. And we're going to try Perez as a striker. He scored nine goals. There's nothing about his attributes that says he can't be a striker. Um, so, we're going to give him a go. All right, so we can see the way they're lining up. Now, I'm hoping we've had basically one good performance and one bad performance from this formation. So... I was really frustrated last game because yeah, I thought I'd found something that was going to work for us, and and it didn't. Uh, come on, let's show you, you, what you can do. Let's try that. Bit of passion, some calm. We have faith. So I'm hoping, yeah, that this time around we'll sort of do this formation justice, uh, or at least do ourselves justice and play. Like as you could see from the match ratings, the first time we played with it, it was so so good, uh, and that's why it's so frustrating because I thought we cracked it, um, but we hadn't cracked it. Just me, as <laughs> it was the turnout. Uh, as a, yeah, some tight plays here isn't ideal, uh, but we'll deal with that as best we can here. Um, now that the transfer window's open, I'm thinking, I don't usually like to do mid-season squad rebuilds. Um, when we come back tomorrow, we could have pretty much uh, a lot of new players. I'm, I'm going to do a squad rebuild, I think, uh, mid-season here. Uh, Cantoro is pretty much out the door. I'm trying to get rid of him. I'll get rid of him just for free, to be honest. Um, he's a foreign player. He's not. He's not pulling his weight, so... There's no point having him really. We can we can upgrade. Um, we I think what we are going to need is some reliable goal scorers. Um, it's loose pass. Mosquera has picked that up. Can he go ahead of Ramos? He can. Go on Ramos. Go on Sonny. Oh my God, he's so slow. He's on his Walker frame out there trying to. He's only a young man. He should be faster than that. How old is? What's his pace? That was horrible. That was truly truly horrible. He's got dribbling. He shouldn't be that slow. Um, anyway. That was a good chance gone missing. And that is exhibit A of why I say we need some good, reliable goal scorers. Um, and yeah, if Cantoro is taking up one of the five foreign places and he's not, he doesn't even look like scoring. I think he scored in the first game and nothing since then. Um, you know, there's no place for you in the team. Karuga, I like Karuga. I really, really do. But he's already made noises about being homesick, wanting to go home. He's 32 years old. Uh, what do we say? Unlucky, I think, perhaps to that. Um, so he's not one for the future. I'm wondering if if we maybe if we can upgrade again. He's taking up a for, he's a foreign player. If we can get somebody in um, that's a little bit younger, a little bit better. I mean, Karuga's good, but he's by no means you know the best player in the league or anything. Um, 
Now, we might look to do that as well. Um, I mean, no one's safe, I'll be honest. Must I, I know who's safe? Emerson is safe. Emerson's been really good for us. There's a ball for Perez. Perez! Oh, so close. Can he get a ball back? It's still there. Andy has back post. It's Cafetioni's debut, and he's pulled it over. Oh, that was much more like it, boys. Come on, that's what we like to see. Oh, no, this is not what we like to see. Defend, boys. Defend. Away. Oh, no, it's a flick on. And, oh, Salinas. What a save that was. That's the difference. He's got good reflexes. He's got good agility. He should be able to make saves. Um, all right, Andy, can he get across into the box? We're bouncing it around nicely. Perez. Space for Perez! He's back! Oh, he's back, he's back. Tenth goal of the year for Fernando Perez. There was no reason why he couldn't play as a striker, and that is why right there, because he can finish. We know he can finish. I don't know what happened to him. He's had half a season off. But welcome back, Fernando Perez. Good first touch into space. Good second touch. Goalkeeping with some questions to answer. Um, but doesn't matter. Back of the net. 1-0. Come on, boys. Vemos. Vemos. Let's uh, let's show some passion here. Mosquera's looking a little bit tired. Here goes Blacardo. Just went to the bar from the youngster. Um, Martinez is looking nervous. We do need... I don't know if we need extra bodies in midfield. We just have some injuries. Oncardo, uh, Okoy, Onkoy, sorry, is injured. Avocado is injured as well. Um, so we're just a little bit short in central midfield right now. Ideally, we'd like to bring somebody in, or I'd like to bring somebody in for that. Um, but we, we just said we're just we're limited on budget as well, which doesn't help. We're going to bring Goivin uh, on. A, he's match fatigue, which is why he didn't start. And let's face it, he hasn't been playing that well. Uh, but we're going to bring him on here. Um, because Martinez hasn't had his his best game, has he? Um, do we dare praise? I don't think I want to. Let's tr Okay, we might praise after this if it goes in the back. And then it's there. It's Emerson! Oh, it's so close again for Emerson. He is an absolute... I should have hit concentrate. Not, not encourage, but that's okay. Come on, boys. And that's the end of that highlight. Uh, Emerson is tired. Perhaps that has something to do with it. Um, Mosquera is absolutely dead. Uh, what can we do? What can we do? Emerson! Oh, again for Emerson. He's just a weapon from corners. An absolute weapon from corners. Um, okay. We uh, Okay, think, Aussie villain. Think. Um, all right, what we're going to do, we are going to start to close this down. Uh, they're a passing team, so we'll still counter press. I don't, uh, we haven't, they haven't created much, so I don't want to change too much here. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's play for set pieces. Um... I don't have anybody on the. I want to. I want to take off Mont uh, Mosquera because he's absolutely knackered in there in a position that needs legs. But I just we don't have anybody in there. I'll do a time wasting sub. We'll bring Hector Rojas on for Ramos. Uh, we'll play him as a target man on support just to hold up the ball for us. Bring every, every players into the game, and of course run down the clock and waste a bit of time. Let's give it a tighten up. And this should be it. This should be it. That's a good, solid 1-0 win. We've kept a clean sheet. Hallelujah. I cannot believe what that's just, that's just happened. 38% of the ball. But I think we used it well. Uh, I think we just... That's a much, much better performance again. I'm happy with that. That's redeemed the episode for me. <laughs> and it shows that you know, if we we are making progress. On our day, we're good. And we've seen, we've seen both sides of us this episode. On our day, we're really good. And on not our day, we can't pass to each other, we can't defend, we're truly, truly horrible. But it just, again, it keeps us clear of that relegation spot, uh, and it, I mean, we're only four points. We're only six points off top. Now, there's three games to go, so we're not going to win it. But, you know, if we, would, if we win two of our last three games, we could find ourselves very, very easily up third, fourth, fifth in the league. It's a very, very even league, um, which I think works in our favour. But uh, that is it for today. Just goals of the month to come. Um, if you have enjoyed that, guys, please do hit a uh, thumbs up. And, of course, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, and make sure that you are subscribing. Uh, we will be back tomorrow. We'll wrap up this opening uh, opening stage. That's what we're looking for. Uh, against Melgar and against Sino, whoever you pronounce that. Now, these are two teams that we should, we've got six in the league. So that's a big game, actually, because that's roughly where we could be finishing. If we were to win that, or even get a draw in that game, then we've got 11th and 14th, two teams that we are above. We could yet you know, salvage this opening stage uh, into something that's a little bit more respectable. Um, but when we come back tomorrow, hopefully there'll be some new signings as well. We'll have 
had a bit of a chance to restructure the squad. We'll have about two weeks game time, so hopefully I'll get some damage done in that. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's someone you want to see leave, you don't want to see leave, where do we need to strengthen, all these sort of things, guys. I want your help on that one. Um, but until tomorrow, guys, I've been on the villain. Thank you so much for watching. It's good to see Chaz back in the Peru with us, and we will be back tomorrow and here are our goals of the month for what month was it? For July. Take care.